this question is to be solved in few steps but there is a trick otherwise it will take too much time the given question is the average marks the average marks scored by 40 students in a class were calculated to be 36 average calculated as 36 of 40 students later it was found that marks of two students were copied wrongly as 34 and 23 in place of 43 and 32 find the correct average marks understand if you understand the question or you if you able to understand the question there is no problem to solve it just read again and the correct average marks that means the question was solved in first step wrongly so the wrong answer was wrong not correct now how we will correct it so let a equal to total sum of marks when calculated wrongly formula total sum equal to average marks into number of students this is the formula that we have to apply number of students were calculated correctly that were 36 and marks calculated wrongly that were 40 no sorry it was not there number of students were 40 and average was 36 but the, whether you multiply 40 into by 36 or 36 by 40 the answer will be the same so but question theme may be wrong there are average marks calculated were 36 but the students appeared in exam were 40 so the wrongly calculated sum was 14 to 36 equal to 1440 total sum calculated correctly will be let it be a value that we can call it b b equal to a minus marks copied wrongly that means the marks which were copied wrongly or incorrectly that have been deducted and the correct marks were added so we have wrongly calculated sum minus wrongly calculated 
copy it or calculate the numbers then add the correct numbers we get 1458 now this is correct sum so we will divide it by correct number of students that is 40 so 1458 divided by 40 equal to 36.45 that is the correct answer now you can again check just think about the correct answer the correct answer will only be there if there is no wrong calculation or wrong copied values wrongly copied values so we will deduct the wrongly copied values and will add the correct values then we will get the correct value correct average